Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Black Eyes with me, Alpha Pile Mega and Greater German Reich. So I'm not entirely sure if uh, there isn't a small reverse in the date because uh, turns out I forgot to save the game. Uh, so I will do the last autosave, it might be one or two days, uh, but I checked uh, we are still working on the long winter war and uh, as far as the navies go there is no change, so things are looking pretty fine. In this episode I would like, no, I would love to actually take the Azores. Uh, we are still however about 28 days away so I'm not sure if we're gonna go a whole month because we need to start preparing for the attack on the Soviets. Now many of you repeatedly told me that I have a gap in here, I know. I know, that's why I have these units here, and that's why I have these tanks around here, and that's why I have these tanks around here. Now our goal here will be, if these units start advancing into the territory, to strike them from the side by the 6, and this is 7, 7, so we have 13 tank divisions that can uh, cut them off, and we can strike them from the front with these additional uh, seven tank divisions and an additional entire motorized uh, monza, like half an army. We got six divisions here. Plus we got uh, an entire reserve army here, the 14th. And uh, here we have the mechanized units as well. So we want to lure them a bit in uh, so that we can cut them off and strike them. I believe that I have enough units here. Now if they wouldn't take the bait and try to assault us on the side, we can still go ahead and strike them from here. Uh, this area is going to be a bit of a shoot because it's all forested. But on the other hand, that this area is fairly poorly defended and could be relatively quickly overcome as it's most the planes. So in that case, the tank divisions are gonna strike into, I guess, these divisions. And then we would probably try to either encircle Brzezitevsky and move north, trying to cut off these divisions or do it one by one uh, always encircling a little pocket and then destroying it. Now this is the plan. There is an excessive amount of units here. I do not think uh, I calculated this entirely correctly. The last time I checked there was less of them. But I believe that we can hold. I believe that we'll have enough supplies in here and I believe that we have enough reserves in the mainland uh, that are going to help. And a huge advantage that we have against the Soviets is the fact that most of their units are actually a regular infantry. I don't see any motorized divisions here whatsoever. Uh, hopefully that's going to be the way. Uh, no mechanized divisions here either. But I mean, we, we can't be sure. We have the spies there, so hopefully we're going to see uh, something else soon. Uh, the intel is growing. We are now, well, only at 10% at this point, but we're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to see uh, how much we get from it. Uh, but still, you know, the, the amount of tank divisions that they have here, most of them are light. So I don't see any... Well... Do I see anything here like... No, these are really true infantry. I checked and... They do not have any specific, these are just Panzer Division, they have even a cavalry here. So, you know, they're, they're scary at first sight, but their units are fairly outdated, that's what I would say. But, you know, I have no idea until we meet them in the battleground, uh, we cannot say. Anyway, uh, this is going to be the last episode where our units uh, are going to fight in Africa. After that, uh, we are pulling them out. So I'll try to level the playing field a bit more and then I'm gonna just leave it to the Italians because we are going to need all of our Panzer Divisions back home. Plus, these guys really need to be ramped to the 1944. Uh, they will require a ton of mechanized equipment, but other than that, we are fine. And these are all very experienced tank divisions which are gonna do uh, quite a lot of good for us. So. Hopefully it's gonna work out. So that's the general uh, start of the episode. Let us now move forward and see if we can 
get our plans done in time. You guys have fuel. You guys also have fuel and you're pushing them away. So we can potentially encircle here, what was it, five divisions? Yeah, five divisions. Automated assembly Okay, so we are definitely behind because there was an actual uh, need for us to choose something else. So just a reminder, automated assembly lines, the future is now. Give us extra recruitable population of 0.5%, but lowers the construction speed of military factory and dockyard. But that's fine. So what did I do? I think I went with the road network, to be quite honest, because uh, we got the rest. But did I go with the infrastructure works? Or maybe the refineries? I think I went with the refineries, because we need to get more stuff. Are we importing again? Yes, we are importing again. So if I cut this down, how painful is it going to be for my fuel production? Not at all. We are doing good. Okay, sink some transports. Oh, and here's the message from the end. We are way behind. We are way behind. Uh, so we'll work on this and we'll work on the road networks 4. And we can still go with the airplanes here. What did we do? Was it the Corsair support? I think I went with the Corsair support for our... Uh, carriers. So let's go with the carrier bomber again. And keep on bombing as well. Okay, so you can do me the flying boat. And we'll be done. So yeah, I guess this is where we kind of left off. Preparing for the long winter still. Okay, we're gonna expand the. Oh no, this one we got as well. Ah, the upgrade to our armored car. So let's actually check the description. I know that I didn't do that last time. Uh, the Zonderkraft Fahrzeug uh, 334, more popular known as Puma, replaced its predecessor's 20mm autocannon with a 50mm gun. Original plan for the cancelled Leopard reconnaissance vehicle. Okay, well that's great, and we went with the advanced tank armor for the upgrade on the Tigers. So, that is great. Now you are being constructed and worked on. Yeah, we need to switch the armored car to the new model. Jesus, but 23.72 per day, that is decent production speed. This is bugging me a bit, but again, I think we'll be fine. I mean, uh, we're getting 3.44 per day. So, in 4 months, that's 120, 120 days, we are going to get about, let's go with 500. That's not gonna be anywhere close to the number that we need. Wait, here it is. Where we need, what, 1160. But, eh, eh. I think we might be able to, to do it in the end. We're starting to get a decent amount of the variable wins as well. These are gonna be good for the heavy tank division. If I wanted to do one more I won't because I want them mechanized and we would just need the, the medium tank destroyers otherwise it would be full stock. How much mechanized do you need? 800? Uh, 480. Uh, I don't want to do that. The reason for that is that we need to upgrade our units like these guys and the only thing that we are really missing here is the mechanized. I mean, we can get the medium tank destroyers, we'll get those, that's not an issue. But the mechanized is an issue. Uh, we really need to get these numbers up in order. What was it, 20 per day? Uh, 23.85, and it's gonna grow even more. So we'll get there, but it just requires patience. It requires patience. 
With a bit of luck, you guys are gonna get encircled here completely. Hmm, yeah, we need to take, take this area. Who's on uprising, huh? No, you guys are retreating to places where you will not be happy, but I guess that's your prerogative. So you guys are still drilling, and we got dockyard. So what did we finish? Yet another Dresden class cruiser. So let's send it to its drilling, and you guys can drill as well. The dead finger. Looking good. How many dockyards do we have, and what are we constructing? Okay, so we started working on the subs. We are working on these well and fast enough. So we got three of the Königsberg class cruisers. What could we do to upgrade these guys? Minoring equipment, no real anti-air. Because it would probably... Uh, it sounds like a good idea to maybe up our older cruisers as well. And the... Wait, was it in Nuremberg? No, it was Königsberg, right? Where are you? Yeah, Königsberg. Okay, we could upgrade you to the Nuremberg, but that is not gonna happen. So we need to specifically look for the... Königsberg, which is... Here. Okay, uh, so any change to you uh, is gonna be extremely expensive. We already know that, but I think it might be worth it either way. Okay, 500 for a decent upgrade if we give you the rangefinders. And bad damage control will be 767 for a 2.6 increase in light attack, 1.5 increase in torpedo attack, 4.3 increase in anti air, higher reliability, increased range, lowered surface visibility, increased surface detection, massively increased surface detection, and a small increase in the sub detection, too. What if we switch to your guns? Uh, you have the high angle batteries. Okay, that would make you way more potent. But it would also mean that the construction cost would be much higher. <laughs> but would it be worth it? That is. That is a question. But I mean, the light attack and light piercing would go up significantly. And it is still only 1432. Anything else that we could change? What about the main batteries? 15 centimeter main gun battery. Yeah, it's okay. So these ones are out of the question that is... We could build an entirely new ship there. Uh, the torpedo launches, though. Okay, well, I would go with something like this. Torpedo attack would be increased, light attack. 1600, okay, that is quite high. But on the other hand, um, it is less than a construction of a destroyer. So I like the idea of having these guys done and being a bit more able. So how many more do we have here? A couple. So let's send them. And once we get a bit more naval experience, we're gonna deal with that. We're getting a 
decent daily increase, so that is fine. Oh, hello. You're planning to intercept us? Oh god, no! This one failed. There is a river here or something? Oh, there's a lake. So have you been defending a lake area this whole time? Please tell me that's not the case. Okay, and these guys are already retreating, so... Yeah, this plan for encirclement is falling apart, unfortunately. Too bad, too bad. Well, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, the manpower is increasing, which is great. Thinking whether or not we want to get more infantry divisions, because I think these ones are really aged at this point. If we try to give you light tank recon, we would never have enough of the light tanks here. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. You got the anti-tank. Uh, motorizing it makes no sense. Heavy anti-air. Actually, it would make sense for you to have an... <laughs> wow! Okay, having heavy anti-air here makes a bigger impact than having the anti-tank. That is kind of funny. But we have nowhere near close enough uh, the number that we would need. Mm, I think you guys are. I think you guys are pretty much done. I mean, we could go maybe with the motorized logistics. Because that would uh, supply you, we go down 0.49 and we do, wow, it will be 7,600 trucks. Yeah, we have a lot of infantry units, that's probably not a great idea. And I wanted to check one more thing and it was the bunkers. Yeah, look at how expensive they are. Each of the bunkers cost 5,000 construction costs. That is way too much. We just cannot afford it. It's just too much. Too much. Still haven't finished this one, huh? But the Lublin... Yeah, we got a decent coverage here with the radars, so that's gonna help. And we are almost, yeah, we're almost done with our construction queue. Well, then we'll just throw everything we have on the military factories to increase our production, because otherwise we are fine. Okay, you can just help with this. At least we'll, I think we might still encircle them to be quite honest because we lost this one but we'll lock them out here. So it might have a chance of a success still. It is a sort of a botched operation but overall it might still work. So you guys are gonna free the infantry army that's in, um, in UK. You guys are gonna be ready soon. You are gonna come in August, right? Can you prepare for the long winter war is finished? And finished the winter logistics. Wait, is it that? I see that was not the equipment that we were doing, was it? 
Yeah, no, that's Arctic Warfare equipment, so we get a different kind of technology that's gonna modify us uh, in our performance. Okay, that I guess that's fine then. Uh, so what's next? What is next? Uh, for Falcon Hansen's return to duty. Experience from Sino German. Everyone gets a planning bonus. Anti committant. Well, we need to get the anti committant packed. Uh, second Vienna award. Nothing really here that I would like. The Finnish Tiger means. Okay, so we can get the Finnish Tiger without any problems. That will remove their neutral policy, but this one doesn't actually mean that they declare war. And then we are going to get these two. Okay, so let's get the Finnish Tiger. And we got more dockyards again. What have we finished? Okay, so more ships are done. I see. Okay, and we got only five of the old Zerstörers, so cool. We've managed to upgrade all of our older Zerstörers, meaning destroyers, to the newer type. I am happy. And at this point, okay, we're starting to have an, have an issue with rubber. So let's start getting it out. I'm gonna stop importing from you and you because we don't need that. But instead, let's look and who can give us. Vichy France could give us some rubber. Swedish Empire could give us some rubber. Tungsten. Okay, we're filling tungsten storage. I guess that works. And what's going on in here? Oh yeah, it worked! Nice! Yeah, we eliminated these divisions here. Amazing. Cool! So... In the end, we can be happy this operation worked. The enemy has almost no supply here. And with that said, the Africa Corps is gonna go back home. You've done well, uh, but the time has come for you to come back. It kind of pains me that... Yeah, but the Italians will be able to do what they want here. There is no point in denying that. They get the situation firmly under control. So, plus there are no more reinforcements coming. We're not letting any through. Mm, so let me send you back to Port Said. And we are going to send you back home. Actually, what I think I can do here is I'm actually going to switch them to the 1944 Panzer Divisions. So that we can... They're the oldest ones. These are the 1941s. So that we know what our current status is. Okay, so this was their template originally and this is the new one. Uh, no, it ch changed. Dang it. I did something wrong. Okay, let me see it here. I forgot what the differences were. So they were 1941. 
Ah, okay, so they were motorized. They had armored cars. They had engineering companies like that. And now, after their engagement in Africa, they look like this. So their motorized was switched to mechanized. They used to have one medium assault gun, light tank destroyers, and motorized medium artillery. Instead, they will now be equipped fully with medium assault guns. Uh, they have mechanized uh, instead of motorized headquarters detachment. And they got uh, light tank recon instead of armored car. Their engineering companies have been mechanized. Their combat engineer company has been still motorized. It doesn't matter, they got signals. They got heavy anti-air battery and logistic detachment mechanized. Okay, we got an extra fuel storage 5, which will require us to stockpile more fuel. Is it a 10% one? I think it might have been. That's the last one that it got. Yeah, that was the 10% one. Uh, so we need more rubber at this point. Because it's starting to be a bit short. So let me renew. Well, we're gonna keep it like this. 61 days is still fine. That's two months. Way ahead of our original plan. Hmm. Too bad there's a river here. This would have been. Getting across here. Well, this area around the Wolf would also be a really good area to strike them. Which is why I have these divisions here. Yeah, the terrain is unfortunately mostly forested. This area is plains. So if we could get through here somewhere, then we can cut them off in here and eliminate them. Which would be quite a lot of divisions. Now I need to think and put into practice some sort of plan because right now it's all theoretical based on the defense but if we are the ones that declare a war we will need to take action into our own hands. Uh, the fact that there is a river here is just... how big of a fort do you have here? Three... So strike here against oh, Wolf is a city, right? It's not a metropolis. It's a town, okay. So going through there. There's a huge amount of units here. So cutting through here and back, just like this, will encircle a large amount of forces right of the bat. Which would be good. I'm still unsure if you know what the performance of their of their units is gonna be like. Uh, Soviets start with a huge penalty in the beginning. Uh, they still get the red fleet and red army perch. They're getting extra attrition. Their defense is lowered. Recovery rate is lowered. Their breakthrough factor is just insanely bad. So they are going to be on a defensive in the beginning. We'll just need to make sure that. We know what we're doing because the amount of forces here is staggering, but again, they'll be penalized and they should be fairly aged. So the tank divisions should have an easy way with them if we do it right. If we do it right. So definitely, this area needs to be cut through. But how? And where? Because this is mostly forested. Do I know that our tanks aren't having that much of an issue with a forested terrain? Chinese Soviet Republic issues diplomatic. Well, you can go find a pine tree. All right. Okay, forest is here. Yeah, they shouldn't really have a major penalty there. They will have, of course, a penalty, but other than that. Ground attack factor vote by 25%. Combat with 75. What about the planes? Chance to, chance to get sick is increased. Really? Okay. It's increased much less than anywhere else. Okay. And we get the machine and give it 
42 V. So that's an upgrade. <clears throat> what does it what does it have extra? It is an upgraded uh, version of the machine gewehr Swine field sick. 0.5 breakthrough, 0.5 defense, soft attack of 0.3 and an increase in reliability. Machine gewehr für und swan uh no swine field sick foul shortened to mg 42 v also known as a MG, MG45, is a German machine gun designed by Dr. Werner Griner of Grossfuss Age in 1944. The development was aimed to further simplify the machine gun 42 design because of the severe material shortages of Germany in the late war. While many parts of the machine gun 42 V were identical to those of the machine gun 42, such as the 7.92 57mm cartridge, the ammunition feed, the trigger group, and parts of the buttstock, buttstock, the operating mechanism was completely different. Compared to the recoil operated roller walked MG42 mechanism, the MG42 V used a roller delayed blowback operating mechanism. This new mechanism did not completely walk its breach before firing, therefore increasing its rate of fire and simplifying its construction at the same time. The barrel was a simpler part without a locking piece with a lifespan of over 10,000 rounds. The MG42 file used steel of lesser quality, reducing the weight to 9 kilograms. Testing started with 10 prototypes in 1944, where the machine gun for the uh, MG42 file achieved a firing rate of 1,350 rounds per minute. However, wartime production priorities and other requirements prevented mass production and adoption of the weapon by Wehrmacht. Well, okay, now let's go with the 12cm Granade Werfer, which is going to give us extra defense, a bit of breakthrough, a bit of hard attack, a bit of soft attack, and an increase in piercing, a significant increase in piercing, actually. 82 days. So the question is now, do we have any factories working on machine guns? Just one. And we'll need tens of thousands, won't we? Well, probably not tens of thousands, but a huge amount indeed. But I'm not gonna move any from, for example, from the Panzer Shrek. That one is way more important. The hard attack and piercing for infantry units is gonna be super important. We might move some from anti air once we get the situation under control. Right now we're looking at a decent increase, though. We really need to look into the flag improvements, too. Yeah, yeah, we're back where we started. We still do not have enough factories. How amazing is that? And Spain, you still have zero units. That is... Did we send you the stuff? We did. Uh, modify the laundries. Oh, we're sending you 1500 monthly. Okay, that needs to be changed. Damn it. I knew that I probably messed up something. So do we have enough or did we just did that completely no we we do have tons yeah we had sixteen thousand more in reserve more free dockyards jesus okay but i think this is the moment when we are going to upgrade the Königsbergs so that they are slightly better torpedo launchers and for the sake of my sanity, I need to copy the name before I uh, before I lose that. Okay, better torpedo launchers, better anti-aircraft guns. Okay, that's twelve. We got nineteen. Switch this and this, give you a better damage control. And that's 19. That's about as much as we can do. Yeah, I wanted to switch these as well. 
but that's too much. Dang it. Um, so if I'd remove this one, we could do it. How much surface detection do you give? Okay, you know what? We can... We can rebuild them and then give them the radar for now so that we don't waste production. So this is going to be 1945A Königsberg class. And we'll have... Where's my navy? We'll have you guys, the Königsbergs. Upgrade to the Königsberg. So go. That ought to be enough. And we definitely need more units in the north. Okay, how about the marines? Are they ready? They are. Okay, so let's end it here. And in the next episode, we are going to send them on their merry way to attack the Azores. And after the Azores, we need to do the Cape Verde down here. And that pretty much covers all of the islands. I know there was one... Yeah, there's one area here in the Scottish Highlands that we did not get uh, but you know we'll get there we'll get there afterwards uh, but yeah these ones will be way more important so cool we're preparing and in the next episode we are going to shadow the plants I have to look at it a bit more in detail and decide what to do because I think we might just go um, you know we just might try to modify the border a bit as a start to get a bit more advantageous positioning. For example, we could push around this area to protect ourselves by the river while the tanks can move this way and then close the pocket here and turn back, eliminating this. Yeah, we'll have to be very mobile and very quick and decisive. Uh, if we want to break the Soviet lines in any meaningful way right off the bat. And we'll have to put a lot of pressure on them because our allies are going to suffer. And they'll have huge issues uh, defending themselves. I mean, they haven't really put that many units down here. They're mostly putting everything up in the north. But that's going to be a nightmare. But I mean, you know, the Italians are hopefully going to help one day. Yeah, they're advancing here, so things are looking really good. Oh, and did our... No, they haven't. Okay, they're still on the way. I was kind of surprised that they would manage to do that already. Cool, so thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next episode.